Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm GNG and this is episode 73 of the University Challenge and today we have our Europa Conference League round of 16 tie against Standard Liège. We will be doing both legs in this episode with a league game in between against Galway which we do off camera and I'll catch you up before the second leg on that game. Uh, no games played since the last episode so we'll be going straight into this first leg at the Aviva taking on Standard Liège managed by former Celtic manager Ronnie D Delia Delia? Yeah, uh, Ronnie Delia, we'll go with that, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, former Celtic manager of course, who won a couple of titles at Celtic and now at Standard Liège. I expect this to be a tough tie, we've fallen at the round of 16 in two previous years. Can we make the breakthrough and get to the quarterfinals for the first time? Let's get to the lineup for the first leg. It's the day of this first leg against Standard Liège at the Aviva and unsurprisingly after our great start to the league we are going with an unchanged 11 again for the third game in a row. Uh, we've been in great form, so no need to make any changes. So the team in full is Pickernell and Goals, the usual back four of Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Ledwich. Midfield three, Sluggish, Trebert and Dimitru. Conor McLennan on the right wing, Justin Frizai on the left and Reese Evans up front. So can we uh, take advantage of being at home in the first leg and take a lead to Belgium? Let's get to kick off. On the way here at the Aviva for this first leg, and a chance hopefully for us to take a lead to Belgium. Uh, we have, as I said, we've gone out in this round the last two years and we've been behind going into the second leg both times. So hopefully today we can at worst be level going to Belgium and keep us with a great chance of getting through to that quarterfinal stage for the first time in the club's history. Getting to a European quarterfinal would be a great start to the season and continue to show the progress we have been making in Europe here at UCD. Five minutes gone though here, it's nil nil. First highlight here as Dimitri wins the ball in midfield, Greg Sluggett passes it back to Lamb and we will look to retain possession, also build an attack. Ryan Trevor gets turned on the ball but goes back to Jones. Standard Liège pressing us back to the goalkeeper, picking out. He gets it to Lamb, bit of space here for Greg Sluggett. Picks out Dimitri, can he play a ball through? He gets beats his man and plays through Reese Evans. Reese Evans is through, oh, straight at the keeper. He pulls off a great save and it just about goes out for a corner. Great play there to create the chance. Reese Evans though not taking it, but we do have a corner and it will be Ryan Trevor to take and that is strangely the end of that highlight. So we definitely didn't score from that corner. Uh, 10 minutes gone here, it's nil nil. Goal kick here for Standard Liège and they go along with it. And Lamb wins the header, heads it down. Reese Evans can't get on to the end of it though. And Liège in possession, ball over the top and they're true one on one here. Standard Liège and they score. Their first chance of the game, oh it's outside, yes get in, <laughs> celebrating the linesman's flag going up and we get away with one there. That was the first chance they've created and they took it, but thankfully he was offside and things stay with 20 minutes gone here, nil nil. Corner kick for Standard Liège, comes in towards the near post, headed clear by Cameron Ledwich and it will fall though to Standard Liège and they build it back to the edge of the box. Their man, he's beaten a few of our players, gets on the attack but we forced him back. And now can we get into a better defensive shape? Ball over the top though beats our uh, winger McLennan and they head it home. Cameron Ledwich beaten at the far post, no offside flag to save us this time. And we fall 1-0 down. That looked a little bit too easy for my liking. First of all here, uh, Conor McLennan was beaten with a ball over the top. And that got the man through to provide the cross. And he got it to the far post and Cameron Ledwich never even got up on the ground to contest that header. So it was a free header, headed home easily. Given Pickernell no chance. And with 23 minutes gone here, it's 1 0 to stand at the age. Half time here at the Aviva, and we go in a goal down that goal on the 23 minute mark, uh, making us behind here at half time. But, but we've played reasonably well 50 50 possession. We've had a couple of chances, but I think they have just been stronger in possession when needed to be and got that chance and took it. And we haven't done that yet. We need to improve in the second half, and hopefully, we can get back. On level terms. Back on the way here at the Aviva, 1-0 down and needing to respond. Hopefully we can in this uh, second half and we have an early highlight here as Casper Nielsen on the ball plays it over the top towards Conor McLennan. Can he get across in? He gets to the end line, it's blocked and then cleared by Standard Liège. But Casper Nielsen in to intercept and we have the ball back. Dimitri here on the ball, plays it over the top. Hit off his eye. McLennan, yes it's in! Brilliant! We're level here at the Aviva, Conor McLennan heading home. A bit of uh, head tennis there, but he gets the head on it and finishes it. We'll have to look at the replay here just to see exactly what happened. Casper Nielsen here won the ball back. Dimitri into the far post. Frizai didn't win the header. It was a standard Liège player who won the header. 
but Conor McLennan reacted quickest to head that ball home and with just a minute gone off the second half at the Aviva we're back on level terms it's 1-1 throw in for us here right in the corner Casper Nielsen to take we have 24 minutes left of this game and that's a poor throw in for Casper Nielsen and now standard Liège will come on the counter attack can we hold them up to get people back hopefully that poor throw in doesn't cost us but they're 2-1-1 one one here and it does cost us oh such a simple goal and we are 2-1 down and it all came from a bad throw in right in the corner from Casper Nielsen he threw away a possession and they counted on us so quick got lots of men forward we tried to get men back but we just couldn't do it and then a simple through ball here cuts our defence wide open and he slots it home past Pickernell and with 23 minutes to go here at the Viva, Aviva we are back behind 2-1 throw in here for Standard Liège don't think they'll throw in as poor as we did they go long into the box and they find their man who heads it down and now they've come through to our defence oh Pickernell pulls off a good save there that was far too easy he wasn't even a glove laid on him as he came through there <laughs> So easy for Standard Liège there. Thankfully though, Pickernell pulls off the save. And with 19 minutes remaining, it's 2-1 still to them. Throwing again for Standard Liège here with just over 2 minutes remaining off this uh, first leg. They are time wasting here, which obviously you do when you're ahead. And they are doing it nicely. <laughs> Throw in finds their man and they come on the attack. Playing the crossfield ball. Can we get Enton in to win this ball back? We do get a foot in and Steedman will get there. He's on from the bench. We have a number of substitutions made. And one of them is Tommy Lonigan, but he can't get on the end of that. And now Standard Liège back in possession. Really important that we don't concede here because we'd only be a goal behind going to Belgium. Wouldn't be too bad. But if they were to get another, the tie could be effectively over as it would be a real mountain to climb in Belgium for us. But here they are in possession. The ball through and they are through. One on one again. Oh, Pickernell pulls off another brilliant save. And we stop the rebound there. Lamb does well. Pickernell with a brilliant save that keeps us alive in this tie. But Standard Liège still on the ball. Foul there by Dimitri. He's on a yellow card. And it's actually Steedman, thankfully. I thought he was going to be sent off, but it's Steedman picking up a yellow card. End of that highlight, five minutes off injury time. That Pickernell save could be huge. Full time whistle goes here at the Aviva. It is a 2 1 defeat for us. Uh, their class just telling in the end, I think they did get on top in that second half. But we are still very much alive in this tie. Only a goal behind going to Belgium. And hopefully we can pull off a shock in the second leg and get through to the quarter final. For then, I have to go ahead and play that league game against Galway, and we will catch up with the lineup for the second leg in Belgium. So it's the day of the second leg against Daniel Liège, and before we get into team news, catch up on that league game. Uh, we took on Galway a couple of days before the second leg, and I fully rotated the team to be rested up for the second leg, and it looked like it was going to backfire as we dominated the game but couldn't make the breakthrough. We brought on some players off the bench. And thankfully, thankfully, with 12 minutes to go, Greg Sloggett put us ahead from the penalty spot. And then Kia Murphy uh, nodded home a Casey McAteer cross with 3 minutes to go to put us 2-0 up. And that sealed the 3 points for us. And we got to rest some players. So it was a real positive in the league. So 9, from, nine points from 9 to start the league. And we are in 3rd position. We are 4 points behind Derry and St. Pats, but with 2 games at hand. So a really strong start to our league season. But back to European action, and this is the team for uh, the second leg. One change sees Gregor Siklic come in for Greg Sloggett, who is suspended uh, for picking up too many yellow cards. So the team in full is Pickernell and Goals, Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Ledwich, the back four, Siklic, Trevor and Dimitru as the midfield three, McLennan and Frizai on the wings, and Rhys Evans up front. So a 2-1 deficit to try and claw back. Let's hope we can do it. Let's get to kick-off. On the way here in Belgium for the second leg, 2-1 down and looking to make a comeback in this second leg. We need a strong away performance. We need something similar to what we did away to Galatasaray earlier in this competition if we are to get through and let's hope we can do it. It's actually the best uh, we've been coming into the second leg off the round of 16. We're only a goal behind this time so we are still very much alive in this tie. Coming up to 5 minutes gone, it's nil nil on the night, 2-1 to them on Aguilar. Just over half an hour gone here in this second leg and absolutely nothing happening. They have completely dominated possession, created a couple of chances. We've created absolutely nothing and just haven't been in this game. And now Standard Liège have a free kick here, played in towards the penalty spot. Conor McLennan heads it clear, Siklage goes to close down and we give away a penalty there. I'm not sure who did the foul. It looks like it was Reese Evans and it was a yellow card. And it is a penalty to Standard Liège and the chance probably to finish this tie here. Oh, that's disappointing. Here he comes. And it's just about goes past Pickernell. 
and that penalty puts them 1-0 up on the night 3-1 up on Agate and that really is a killer blow for us we've been dominated in this first half really outclassed by them and then we give away the penalty Pickering got a hand to it but just couldn't keep it out and with 34 minutes gone here it's 1-0 to Standard Liège on the night 3-1 to them on Agate time here and we are 1-0 down on the night and 3-1 down on Agate that penalty the difference between the two teams but really they've been the better team although strangely enough we've come into the game more since we went behind maybe they have started to ease off but we're going to have to have a big second half performance if we're going to get back into this tie we need at least two goals to bring it to extra time back on the way here for the second half and we've gone for a bit of a tactical change Tommy Lonigan has come on for Siklic and we've dropped the whole midfielder gone with a second striker up there we're going to try and get the ball forward a bit quicker and hopefully put them under a bit more pressure we need two goals in this second half so we really have to go for it so going with the two strikers of Evans and Lonigan up front and let's hope we can pull off a massive comeback in this game coming up to five minutes off the second half gone 1-0 to them on the night 3-1 on Agra free kick for them here and it comes in towards the far post Jones gets a header on it and it falls down and Freeze Eye wins the ball back can we counter attack here now we've got Lonigan up there Tommy Lonigan oh he chested it down and then lost it and he was on his own anyway so he's going to struggle there now Standard Age come on the attack and they hold the ball up on the touchline but uh, McGlennon in to intercept back to Lamb now can we get the ball forward quick that's what we're trying to do Lonigan ah, he loses possession again Lonigan and now Standard Age on the ball we don't have that defensive midfielder now and it cut open and there's 2-0 oh that's so disappointing it was lost possession from Lonigan and then we were open in the middle without the defensive midfielder and they just cut us uh, open you can see here the space in the middle and then it was really easy just a 1-2 played and across and then a tap in for their striker and 2-0 on the night 4-1 on aggregate the tie is over and we are heading out yet again in the round of 16 free kick here for standard age at the back as they pass it around and 14 minutes left of this game us heading out of the conference league at the round of 16 again greg lee who's come on wins the ball back there nico jones playing it long up towards Kia Murphy who's also come on he brings it down here's Kia Murphy taking on his man he gets across over towards Tommy Long and heads it down for his eye oh keeper puts off a great save that's a good bit of build up play there between Kia Murphy and Lonigan who are up front together now for his eye uh, hitting the shot straight at the keeper now Barres who has come on to take this corner would be great to pull a goal back even just to make the scoreline look a bit better we will have another corner will we no it will be yeah it will be another corner and Barres will take this one as well 13 minutes left of this game can we pull a goal back just to make the scoreline look a bit better and to say we scored in both legs in it comes Jones headed clear again we'll have another corner three corners in a row really putting the pressure here on Standard Liège later on it's just a shame we're 2 nil down on the night <laughs> but here comes Barres with the third corner and he will aim it in towards that post again Jones heads it straight at the keeper great chance for Nico Jones he usually buries those but he heads it straight at the keeper 11 minutes remaining 2-0 to them all over here in Belgium it ends 2-0 on the night 4-1 to them in Egret we are knocked out of the Conference League in the round of 16 for the third year running a bit going out with a bit of a whimper really were dominated in that game and it's a chance gone a begging for us to get through to the quarterfinal for the first time but that's part of this journey is to try and make that breakthrough in Europe now so we will turn our attention to the league until Champions League qualifying starts later on in the summer but we are out of the Conference League well with that disappointment we go out of the Conference League knocked out by Standard Liège in the round of 16 so we exit Europe for this season but we will soon be back in action again in the Champions League qualifying later on in the summer and hopefully that will be a real breakthrough for us to get um, close at least to the Champions League or even to drop into the Europa League would be a huge achievement but as it is we are out of the conference league and we can now turn our attention to league action and in the next episode we will come back for a double header of home games against dundalk and derry uh, i know we played dundalk already but they are vital games in the title really they're only three days apart uh we later on in the season so there, that's what we come back for in the next episode there is a number of league games to be played before that dundalk game so we really have an idea of how the season is shaping up by then and our first uh, first game against title rivals Derry as well. So they are some big games in the next episode. If you did enjoy today's episode even though the results didn't go our way please hit that like button and it will really help me out in growing the channel getting the video seen by more people. 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already to join us on this university challenge uh, videos will be posted monday to friday 6 p.m irish time and if you hit the subscribe button you won't miss any of them if you have missed anything and want to catch up on it there is a playlist on the channel and it does appear on the screen at the end of the video so until the next episode when we have some big games early in this season uh, please take it easy